It all begins here, with asylum seekers crammed onto small boats, making dangerous crossings from Calais to Dover. Ministers say deporting people who arrive like this to Rwanda will help deter others. Campaigners disagree, saying the policy is inhumane. They wanted to ground the first flight due next week, but they have just lost. A High Court judge refused to grant an injunction that would give charities and lawyers more time to make their legal arguments. This judgment is devastating for the refugees. This is a brutal policy. Uh, we've got refugees, we've spoken to more than 100 who've been given these notices that say they're going to be forcibly removed from the country. These are people who come in who are from war-torn countries, who are already traumatised. One man due to be on that flight spoke to ITV News this morning from Brookhouse Detention Centre. He was a police commander in Iran who refused a government order to shoot protesters. Mr. Shurubani. OK, we can start. He fled, fearing for his life. He says smugglers gave him no choice about the journey. He was just taken to Calais. When we saw the boat, there were a few people who didn't want to get on. Uh, the, there were about 10 armed men around us who were forcing us to get on the boat. Um, so I, I accepted and I got on. And how do you feel about the idea of being sent to Rwanda? Um, I still can't believe it. I am really, really stressed. Um, and with the case that I have, it is, Rwanda is really not a safe country for me. He said he feared Rwanda would send him back to Iran because of its ties to the country and that he wouldn't survive. How scared are you about the idea of getting on that flight? Uh, so I'm very, very scared. But the Home Secretary insists Rwanda is safe for refugees. She welcomed the result, and so did a number of Tory MPs who say it is what their constituents want. You can get these last-minute legal challenges, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't rule anything out. But at this moment in time, it's looking hopeful and positive that, yes, the flight will be heading off on Tuesday to Rwanda. Those legal challenges could be helped by the UN's own refugee agency today rejecting the claim that it had given the Rwanda scheme a green light and instead saying it thinks it's illegal. The current arrangement does not comply with the UK's obligations under international law. Rather than seeking to share responsibility to enhance refugee protection as is foreseen by the Refugee Convention, this would be an outsourcing of the UK's responsibility to asylum seekers and refugees and a shifting of that obligation. It's an argument that will continue to play out.